Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Will and this is Real-Time Binaural Sound Design in Kima. This video is part of a series with Simon Hutchinson. Maybe you're familiar, we're making a batch of videos, some educational, some showcasing on immersive audio. And about a month ago I had made a video using the H3VR and showing how it can be used as an interface for Kima which is just what I'm doing here today. And we can see one and two's got some live input. That's the binaural encoded audio straight out of the Zoom H3 VR coming into Kima here. And I wanna show you a sound that Simon and I built for binaural sound design in Kima. I'm gonna take you through this uh, with the live live sound as well as a binaural recording and I'll also put this sound on the community library so you can check it out and, and hear it for yourself just in case you don't have a, a Zoom H3 VR. So I've got my my Zoom plugged straight into my Pacarana in the other room and this is just ambient noise from the Pacarana fans and my computer tower and I figured I'd make a ambience surreal sort of noisy ambience so first thing I'm gonna just explain this whole sound and then we'll listen to it at the end with both the live input and the sample so it starts here with this generic source and I've got it set to live so we don't have to worry about any of this right now and then it's going into its own mixer where we have left and right controlled by this Capitalk event value dry, calling the straight live input dry, and then the granulated, you can see is wet. And then this goes on to the final output. I'm also splitting the binaural left and right here. So using this channeler, we can select that we only want the left channel and then that's being written into the Pacarana RAM. As we record, it's silent. The recording is this name, recording left, recording L. For one second, that's totally arbitrary length. You could experiment with different lengths. Trigger one, so it's always on, and recording is cyclic. So as it records, it loop records, and then replaces what was there beforehand. Global, we don't need to worry about. And then simultaneous read, because this recording is being read by granulate left channel over here. And then we notice that we're doing the same thing with the right. So we're separating the left and right so that we can manipulate them the same so as to maintain the binauralness, so to speak. So again, channeler, this time only the right channel and the parameters will be the same here with the exception of the recording name. Now it's recording right, recording R. Everything else stays the same. Then we come down here and we see that in this sample cloud, the sample is recording left. The grain envelope is one that I had made myself. It looks like this. So each grain will be enveloped by that shape. Amplitude, here's the wet signal. So I've got independent control over wet and dry. It's not a seesaw in that the more wet there is, the less dry. So it's just an individual uh, volume control basically for the granulated or the live sound. Frequency, this is the rate of playback for this recording doing the default time scale. So it's like a very speed. We can speed it up and slow it down with this Freak jitters, random deviation around this frequency, playback speed of the recording. Time index zero would be the middle, but then we see time index jitter is one, so a bit of any part of the sample can come up at any time. Density is the density of the cloud, how many simultaneous grains might start up at any time. Grain duration, that's the length of the grain in seconds. That's the S. No grain duration jitters. So whatever value we choose, every grain will have the same length. 
and then notice here pan we're on granulate left here in chema pan zero means pan to the left channel so for now we're going to keep everything from the left input of the binaural uh, audio from the zoom to the left no jitter and then seed voice number times 44 i'll explain a bit more about that in a second but that has to do with this replication each iteration of the replication will have a unique seed but because the seed in the right is the same each iteration will live in its own little spatial world so to speak so we go to granulate right channel we see that everything is the same with the exception of the sample now it's the right recording and then the pan down here is one chema pan one means right channel so again we're keeping left to the left right to the right and there you have it replicator I'm doing seven copies of this okay so let's go ahead and check this out I'll go up to action record to disk and we'll call this granulated binaural input I'll just start by rolling the dice. Sometimes when there's a lot of parameters like this, it's a nice way to just see what's possible. This is a pretty cool kind of wind sound, stormy sound, all just from background noise, replicated background noise, granulated. Okay, cool. Keep in mind, because it's a live input, what comes out is going to vary significantly depending on what you put into it. Let's check out some floor creaks that I recorded in binaural with the zoom. So I can just come over here and switch this to RAM. And now, instead of taking the live input from the zoom, we're reading this recording out of uh, the Pacarana RAM. I'll record this to the disk.
cool. So just experimenting with some different things. This is only the gra granulated sounds. Granulated with the, the dry sound. You get the idea. Again, I'll put this sound on the community library. The link will be in the description so you can play around with it and have some fun yourself. Friendly reminder to go check out Simon's channel. He's got some great videos on sound, immersive audio, data bending, and more. And appreciate you tuning in. Hope that was useful for you. And we'll see you in the next video.